Hello friends and welcome to Nag Graphics. In our series of learning Adobe's Illustrator right from the beginning, we have discussed about the shape tools so far along with some essential basic things. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the pen tool. There is hardly anything in this world which you cannot draw with this tool and you will find this tool in almost every drawing, editing and animation software. It will be quite easy for me to explain how it works but you'll have to practice it for long to have a perfect grip on this tool. So let's start working. First of all I want you to take a look on the way how Illustrator draws anything. Take a look on this shape. These two points are the anchor points which are connected by the path and notice these handles coming out of the anchor points. These are called control handles which decide the curvature of the path. Like this path which is coming out of this anchor point, the bending behavior of this path is controlled by this handle. Here I am moving the handle and you can see the change in the bend. Now take a look on this anchor point. This handle is controlling the bend of this path which is coming into this anchor point and this handle is controlling the bend of this path coming out of this anchor point. For selecting the whole shape or object, we use black arrow tool or selection tool. And for selecting or editing particular anchor points or paths and working with their control handles, we use white arrow tool or direct selection tool. Now coming to the pen tool, pen tool draw paths which are connected by various anchor points and the most efficient way of working with this tool is to activate the white arrow tool along with it. And how do we do it? Just click once on the white arrow tool and now select the pen tool. Now while working with the pen tool, if we will need the white arrow tool, we will not travel to the tools panel to activate it. We will simply press the control key to activate the last used selection tool on the go, which in our case will be the white arrow tool only. And as I will release the control key, we will be back to our pen tool. Why the white arrow tool is needed while working with the pen tool, you will get a great sense of this by the end of this chapter. So watch it out. Okay, the basics are clear and now I will show you how to draw these shapes with the pen tool only. While drawing these shapes, I will give you every idea about how this tool works. Notice this asterisk along with the pen, which means a new path is to be made. Let's start with this square box. I clicked here putting an anchor point on that spot and move ahead making a path out of it. And while moving ahead I press shift key to make a straight path and here I clicked again making this spot an anchor point and now from this anchor point I will move this way pressing my shift key clicking here again and from this anchor point I will move downwards while my shift key pressed and notice my smart guides are telling me that you have reached the point just opposite to this point. I clicked here and I'll move towards this point and notice when I reach over the starting point a small circle is indicated here which means you are going to end the path. Click here and the path drawing is complete. Notice the pen again has that asterisk showing that now a new path will be drawn. Ok now let's quickly draw a triangle. I start from here and then click here, here and then back to the start. Alright so this was pretty simple where we drew some straight line shapes. Now let's draw a circle with the pen. Now I click to mark an anchor point and I will not release the mouse button rather I will drag it down which will bring out the control handles out of it. I release the mouse click and now a curved path is coming out of this anchor point. And now I will click and drag upwards to bring out the control handles out of this anchor point. And then finally I will come to this point. Notice the small circle which is telling that this is going to be the end of the path. And I will drag down until its path becomes curved enough to make a perfect circle. And here the circle is done. So this is the basic intro to the pen tool and in the next part of this chapter I will show other advanced features and tips for using this tool. Thanks for watching, hit like and share if you find this video informative and useful. 
Stay tuned.